this is your reminder to take leave. Like seriously, take leave, pack a bag and go on a trip. The company does not belong to your father and even if it did, you still need to take leave and rest. There is no point working yourself to the bone. I can't remember the last time I took leave, I traveled for work, I tack on a couple of days and I'm like, yeah, that's leave. But this time around, I was very deliberate. I took a train to Montreal and on the first night, I met up with my friend Jiba at this really cool Mexican place. There's Jiba and there's me looking very happy on Jiba's Instagram. Um, we had some food, we ordered some tacos, some guacamole, some corn chips. The food was really good. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Afterwards, I walked around the downtown area on the way to my hotel and I will say Montreal has a 10 out of 10 nightlife vibe. Absolutely love it. The next morning, I started my day at this really cute brunch place and I ordered some French toast, some apples and caramel and cinnamon. And when it arrived, I was like, how will I finish all of this? Like, yo, my stomach is small or I just get really overwhelmed when I see a lot of food. But I thought I can do all things through Christ. I mean, nothing is impossible. So I tried my best, but even Christ was like, girl, it's okay. Leave some for the plate. You can't finish everything so well i just left it there's a fish check me happy and full then i made my way to the notre dame cathedral one thing about me if there is a cathedral in the city i am in i will go there i don't care how many cathedrals i've seen i am always wowed by how beautiful they are and how peaceful they feel on the inside so this was the inside of this cathedral it is absolutely stunning lots of rich history as well they had a section with candles where you could pay two dollars to light a candle and i just thought capitalism must fall guys but there was also this section which was for prayers only it was really quiet and i thought should i be taking pictures or should i be praying about my life so i went in to pray and then i walked around a bit found the second prayer section and prayed some more because listen i need prayers then i decided to go to the botanical gardens and on my way this was a display i saw that was really pretty i took the metro um to the botanic gardens it was really lovely and quite smooth to just get on the metro here you need to get an opus card though there's the olympic stadium on the way to the botanic garden and when i arrived here i was really excited besides cathedrals i love being in nature they really give me peace so coming here was very exciting for me went in got my ticket and made my way to some of the fun displays um, and this is a face check girls looking well rested and super happy in the city i made my way to the chinese garden which is part of the displays that they've got the chinese garden this pathway is just lovely like if i could have this leading up to my home i feel like it would improve my quality of life i can't explain how but it would this was a little seat they had where you could be a butterfly for a bit and i just liked it and look at these roses like even in the fall they were looking very pretty just loved it made my way to the greenhouse where i learned a lot about plants just walking around and just loving the air like it was just nice and clean and crisp and yeah there's more fish checks of me in the chinese garden thinking what a beauty what a beauty uh, more of what a beauty like is it me or is it the garden after spending about three hours here i decided it was time to go home because i had french class later in the evening we 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 je parle francais so i took the metro and went back to my hotel the next morning i decided i needed to go try the smoked meat sandwich from this jewish deli everybody raves about my friend literally sent me a message to say demi do not forget to try the smoked meat sandwich so i made my way from my hotel to the deli and everybody's mom was here to try the sandwich like look at the queue and i thought there's no way i'm standing here then i discovered there was a takeout queue on the inside and in different part of the deli but even still look at that anyway i got the sandwich made my way to le vieux port which is the old port of montreal and walked around a little bit trying to find a place to sit i will say if you do not like walking do not copy this itinerary it's a 36 minute walk from the deli to the port anyway that's the sandwich i found a place to sit and just as i was about to start eating some birds started to circle me and were screaming like they wanted some so i was like <laughs> no way so i changed my seat because i wanted to eat in peace after eating i walked around the port a little bit there's a ferris wheel if you want an aerial view of montreal there are all these boats if you want to go out on the water 
I didn't feel like doing any of this. I was just walking around, just looking at, at the site. But I did decide je voudrais un tasse de la glace. So I got some cherry ice cream, which tasted absolutely amazing. I loved it. And afterwards, I walked around a little bit more. This is the Montreal Science Center, which I didn't go into because, listen, I, I trained as a scientist. I've had enough. And then I explored this cruise liner. I couldn't go on it, but you could sort of just walk around it. And yeah, bonjour, Montreal. Afterwards, I went to the Museum of History and Archaeology. And this was really interesting because it's like a history of Montreal and how it was built and all that. But what was even more interesting was I met a Brazilian professor here who um, speaks, whose son actually speaks Yoruba. And she speaks French and Portuguese, so our conversation was in French. And I was really proud of myself for the fact that I could understand a lot of what she said and I could also respond. And we had a bit of an exchange and she was super happy and very excited, so I loved that. There was also a display about Egypt in the museum, so it's like an exhibition on Egypt. And it was really good, I loved it. But what really stood out to me was the light heart. The idea that when you die, your heart has to be lighter than a specific mat in Egypt. Uh, which means die without any heaviness, basically. So I walked around a little bit afterwards. Um, this is old Montreal and me making my way back to my hotel because I had a meet up with Jiba later. So I refreshed myself a bit and then got down to the metro um, to go and meet Jiba where she was, which was like some meeting at her gym. I will not go on about that. But Jiba and I then drove to an exhibition at Maison de l'Afrique, Montreal, uh, which was really, really lovely. Um, and it was basically an exposition about African hair and there were like all these cool stylish people like to be honest the vibe check was 10 out of 10 everybody here was super friendly very lovely it smelled good it was just great afterwards Jiba and I drove back she drove me back to my hotel anyway and yeah that was it for me for the whole night the next day was my last day so I slept in for a bit and didn't plan any activity I decided to walk to the train station. It was about 25 minutes, so I totally enjoyed it. And Google Maps gave me a bit of a run around. I will tell you, Google was acting like it's never been here. At some point I was like, do you know where you're going? But eventually I found the train station and I had memorized the street name, so that worked out well. And yeah, that was my trip to Montreal. Au revoir, Montreal, à bientôt.